guys welcome back to the going graham channel so today i'm back with another hair video don't worry i'm not turning this into a when i think i tell uno for no worry i'm not turning this into a whole hair channel because i'm not a hair guru i'm no hair stylist i'm sorry for my daughter everything but anyway i did my hair color before the lightest blonde was what i was trying to achieve but after i trimmed the top off a little um I noticed that majority of the lightest part of it was the longer part so now I'm just kind of left with this orangish tonish look that I don't really love so much I mean I like it but it's not and mm, I feel it so much so I decided I'll just go full on and just use the bleach as everyone has been recommending hairstylist me must stop one lady in a supermarket and ask her how oh, did you get hair like that and she says she just bleaches so I guess I just have to try it I mean the end goal here is to really do the big chop and just grow it back so you know nothing tried nothing done we're going to be using the clear all Forty volume developer I'm not sure what brand it is but yeah we're going to be using this powder it's a bleach powder so also on my little table here I have gloves I have this measure this tongue depressor that I got in my wax kit I don't have a bowl so I'm gonna have to use um, this plastic cup here so they recommend before moisturizing your hair actually some people recommend that you do some recommend that you don't so they're basically saying you moisturize it so the chemicals aren't so harsh on your hair and the other half of people are saying your hair will return to the state that it was in before so if you had damaged hair before then it's just gonna come back even worse damage I guess um, but I'm gonna moisturize it just to be safe I don't think moisture can kill anybody so they recommend using coconut oil I don't have any coconut oil so I'm gonna borrow some of John's beard oil because it has coconut oil in there so the oil is moisture miracle castor oil grapeseed argan coconut and olive oil they said five essential oils so this is what I'm gonna be coating my hair with first before adding the product into it so I just take in a little, I'm gonna do no big coating because I borrow coats. So I'm just lathering up the top because that's where majority of my hair is. My hair is really not so moist right now. I just wanna put some on the side so I can put the product on the side as well. Bleaching product that is. And I did have some other moisturizing stuff in my hair, like Cantu and Aunt Jackie's blah blah blah, Aunt Jackie's Carlala custard and stuff like that. And let me just put a little bit more on top of my hair. No worries, I'm gonna done. And they are watching me from the back because of us. Yes, so I think that's enough moisture. Generally, I don't like to have my hair feeling so um, coated either. And they also say if you have too much moisture in here, it will kind of hinder the coloring process. So I don't want that to happen because I really want this color to take as much as possible. I don't want it to be too bronzy either. So yeah, I'm going to be using Shimmer Light Shampoo. Alright, so they said to mix this product one to one, so I'm going to do one scoop of the developer and one scoop of the bleach and see how much it is. You're looking for a specific, um, what do you call that, consistency when you mix the 40 volume with the bleach powder, like a uh, pudding consistency I guess. Yeah. Yeah man, yeah, you give me, you're giving me the runoff right there now. Yeah man, like pudding, yeah, 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 that consistency, yeah. Alright, so I already coated my hair, so now I'm just, oh it feel, this oil actually nice man, Don't get ideas. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna actually just start, just put it in, you know, basically you don't have to leave it in as long as, um, the box color max i saw was like half hour i just hope like halfway i'm not gonna have to stop and mix no more car them them don't tell us if i leave it in your ear too long already i'm a bit concerned though about the amount of time it's gonna tell me take take me to apply the product because i don't want to reach like halfway and it's like one hour it take me for the, the half if you get what i mean yeah, so let's just get started. I don't even know how to maneuver this. Oops, fall upon my skin, Jesus. 
but as you can see my roots did grow out from the last time as well I don't know if you can see but boy touch my scalp already let me hurry up I feel like it's a change color already I just my mind I know my mind you know Jesus I need to hurry up then I just said to it in <laughs> This was happening a lot quicker than I thought. And they did say it would burn your scalp a little. But I don't really feel no burn yet. Alright. I never want to do it like this, but obviously this thing is gonna move faster than me can move. So I just have to find the quickest way possible for do it. They say it would burn your scalp, but I honestly not feeling a burn. I think I was just frightened the first time I felt that my hair is more cold. Majority of my hair is pretty saturated. Saturated. The top at least. I don't think it needs to be dripping wet. I just think we need to have a good amount of product in. She's like, I really and truly want like a white, like a storm kind of look. You know, storm from X Men. Yeah, like a X Men. I just know she's a superhero. Her hair color, what I really want. All right, so the root still black same way. So I'm not really in a no haste for hurry up. I thought I wouldn't be able to move as fast as the product. That's why they kind of just wild out and. But it seems I have more time than I thought, so I just gonna take my time and get into the nitty gritties of it. The scent, though, you kind of get used to it. I thought I'd need a mask, but I need a mask. So we're just going to put on a plastic cap and then just give it some time, give the product some time in my hair. 10 minutes are doing because I really don't want anything bad to happen to my hair, you know. But that side of my hair is stubborn. Alright, so 10 minutes. Alright, so the cap is on. It's 10 minutes. Then we're going to be using the Shimmer Light shampoo to rinse it out. Then we see what kind of color we get. Alright, guys, so this is the end result. So they had recommended that you take your wash it out when you get like a pale banana yellow but when we did take off the cap I did a full on banana full on right banana so I was nervous so I just take it out because I really don't want to happen to me here and the back wasn't so bad I think I got more of these places than I did when I tried the very first time with the box color so anyway this is just I think I'll do it a second time I think I'm not so scared but I'll do it a second time now I'm just gonna add my products sleep with my silk cap on moisturizing with moisture mir moisture miracle oil so the first cream I'm going to put in there is my curl people moisturizing hair lotion this is probably my favorite. I'm going to put this Kanto coconut cream in there. And lastly, Aunt Jackie's Curlala Defining Custard Cream. Alright, so finish moisturizing. So for now, this is where I'll stop. So I'm going to sleep on it, wake up tomorrow, redo the same process and see what color I end up with. Alright guys, so I'm back. This is the second aspect of the bleach. I'm not like it. I'm not like it. I feel like a Duracell but your ramen noodle. I right, banana, jackfruit head. <sighs> Some of my friends them see it and they said they like it, but mm -mm, this color is just not for me. So as I said, I would be getting the Adore um, semi-permanent hair dye. I got the color titanium so it's adore 155 titanium 
I'm pretty excited because this is the end product. This is like the final color I want. Yeah, I hope it turn out how I really need it to turn out. So Alright, so I'm back. I just come from church, but this has been the final hair color for about a week now after being washed with shimmer light shampoo. So it's not the silver whitish look I was going for, but I'm actually kind of pleased with it. Like I really do like it. Um yeah, I I did have a couple spots where I missed completely so there are like some browns here I don't know if you can see me. there are some browns there and maybe like one right here but yeah I'm kind of feel that look here you know you know like a girl granny according to my friend them. so as I said I used the adore so the only thing I noticed as well was like I did have a few purple parts like there or maybe I don't know purplish and some people say it look greenish but my honest in a business my love it my love that ear color yeah really nice and it's just refreshing it's new it's unusual as well can you not really see people that go for them color here people usually you know like browns and highlights and them maroon red burgundish purplish blue with them deer you know so i actually enjoy this color it's really nice so this is my last hair cut so I'm gonna really get refresh it up and spruce it up as I want but I still do really like it I do it I do it I'll say 10 out of 10 because it really came through for me the only thing I'd say is get a clarifying shampoo the dye itself was purple in color so when I put it on the like the orange ramen noodle here it took some of the purple for a while but that, that's fine after you wash your hair a couple times it goes out and if you're using shimmer light shampoo it really does brighten up the color for real because initially when i did it i wasn't i don't know if i was feeling it i was kind of skeptical it wasn't it wasn't popping as much as i needed it needed it to but like after i wash it is it's good it's the color i need it to be and it really pops in the sun that's the thing thanks for keeping up on this whole hair coloring journey guys thanks for the people who give me the advice it was so tedious but i really did enjoy it it was really good i did this all myself and i feel fulfilled this is the color and i'm I just like it, I like it. That's how I'm officer, I like it. Like, share, subscribe, leave your comments, leave some hair care tips in the comments for me as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.